Good afternoon. We're happy to report that we received several messages from teachers who reported hearing that Thursday was the best day ever expressed from some of our maskless elementary students at recess. Well, there are many ways to measure the success of schools and districts, our most important is measured in best day ever's. Clearly, the governor's changes are forcing schools to change once again. We are reluctant to use the word pivot because of the fear that our faculty and staff will start throwing things at us. It's been a much overused word this year. Please know that there is always a slight delay from when the governor announces something to get specific school changes and guidance that adjust to these new parameters. For instance, we are expecting more guidance on the end of the year celebrations, and we are waiting guidance on distancing expectations for next fall. We will continue to work with our Board of Health to incorporate changes in local practices as they are made at the state level. Summer program planning. The state is making grant funding available for summer programming. These additional funds have allowed us to expand our summer programming to the middle and high school levels. In addition, we've been able to open our elementary summer program to more students. The programming is separate from our required extended school year programming. Several parents have asked why they received letters of recommendation for the summer elementary enrichment programming. We simply asked teachers and counselors which of their students would benefit from some summer programming after that these students, after what these students have experienced over the last 15 months. We contacted these families and offered a tuition-free spot using the new resources that have been made available. Participation is completely voluntary. Town Meeting, we'd like to thank Town Meeting for their support of next year's school district operating budget and capital warrants. We would not be able to accomplish anything without this ongoing community support. Thank you. This week's gratitude extends to Leahy Clinic, an incredibly supportive community partner. The Leahy Group financially supports our biannual youth risk behavior survey. Leahy works closely with our counseling staff across the district and has provided on-site counselors to work directly with our students. And just this week, Leahy worked with our nurse leader, Barbara Conley, to establish increased times for walk-in COVID-19 vaccinations for Burlington students over the age of 12. The business community members in Burlington, like Leahy, during more typical times and throughout the pandemic, make Burlington Public Schools better. Thank you.